This is the warm-up for Secondary 1 Math, Lesson number 6-3. Number 1, round to the nearest hundredth if necessary. If f of x is equal to 3 fifths x minus 8, find f of 30. So we are going to find f of 30 by substituting 30 in for x. So 3 fifths of 30 is 18 minus 8 equals 10. So that's my answer. Number 2, we're going to do h of 12. So that's 2.5 to the 12 divided by 8 power. Put that in your calculator. Don't forget to put parentheses around your exponent. So when I get all done with that, I'm going to get 3.95. And it said round to the nearest hundredth, so that's how that's going to go. Number three, g of 16. So when I write g of 16 instead of g of x, that tells me I'm going to be putting 16 in for x. And so I'm going to, on my calculator, I can do negative 6 times 16 and then add 4 to it. Then take that answer and then divide it by 8. If you don't do it that way, depending on your calculator, you might get the wrong answer. So be really careful about that. You could type it all in at once, but put parentheses around that numerator. Number four, d of 6 is equal to 400 times 0.5 to the 6th power. You might recognize, recognize this as exponential decay. So this is something where it's half-life. So you start at 400 and go down to 200, and then 100, and then 50. So you could almost do this, um, a lot of it, without a calculator if you knew some of your numbers. So the answer that you're going to get is 6.25. Number 5, f of x is equal to this number. And so this says that f of x is equal to 1 over 625. That's going to have to go in place of the f of x. So I'm going to write 1 over 625 is equal to one-fifth to the x power. Okay, this is one of those that we're going to have to just try and see. And if you remember that um, I can just try one-fifth to the x power, I can just do the five, because I know that one to any power is going to be one. So let's just try some powers of five. Five to the first power, five to the second, five to the third, five to the fourth, and so on. And so what I find is, is that five to the fourth power is equal to 625. And so I know that 1 fifth to the 4th power is 1 over 625, so therefore my answer is x equals 4. Number 6, g of x is equal to negative 8, so my negative 8 will go in for g of x. So negative 8 is equal to negative 12x plus 1 over 7. So this becomes an equation like what we've seen before. So remember that you're going to multiply both sides by 7 over 1. So I'm going to have negative 56 on the left and negative 12x plus 1 on the right. So I'm going to subtract 1 and then I'll divide by negative 12. And so then that just tells me that x is equal to a negative divided by negative is positive and 57 over 12 is 57 over 12. Number 7. Um, h of x is equal to 343, so 343 is equal to 7 to some power, so we just need to figure out what power, so you can just try 7 to the first, 7 to the second, and we find that 7 to the third power is equal to 343. So this is the type of problem that for right now you're just going to be trying some things and seeing which one works. In a couple of years you'll be able to have some other tools that you can use to find the answer to that question. And number 8, it says d of x is equal to negative 36, so that's going to go right in there. So negative 36 is equal to negative 3 fourths x minus 18. And so what I need to do is think about what is going to go first. So if I think about putting my finger over this part of it, I'm going to be adding 18, first of all. So let me do that a little bit neater. So I'm going to add 18. So I'll have negative 18 is equal to negative 3 fourths x. 
and then I have to get rid of the negative 3 fourths, so that's where I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. And so negative times negative is positive, the 3's cancel, the 4's cancel, I'm just left with x on the right hand side. On the left, a negative times negative is positive, 4 times 18 divided by 3 turns out to be 24, and so x is equal to 24, and that's my answer.